Hello, how are you doing? Have you heard the term quantization in the context of LLMs? And you're not quite sure you know exactly what this is. Well, if so, then watch along with me for the next few minutes and I will quickly get you up to speed. Okay, let's get started. Before I talk about quantization, I want to show you a simple artificial neural network, which I think will help make it easier to explain this concept. In this simple neural network, you see artificial neurons, and between each neuron, you see connections. And each of these connections has an independent weight associated with it. These weights are also known as parameters. Depending on the neural network architecture and what layers the artificial neuron lives in, it can have other types of parameters, such as a bias, which is associated with an individual neuron. I'm showing you this simple artificial neural network as these are the building blocks for today's large language models. LLMs today build on top of these simple artificial neural networks and take it much further with more advanced neural network architectures, such as the transform. Today, in addition to using more advanced neural network architectures, LLMs are just much larger, having many more parameters. LLMs can have billions of parameters, and in the case of frontier models, even hundreds of billions of parameters. So why am I talking about these parameters? Well, I started with this to drive home the point that these LLM parameters in software are represented by floating point values. Typically, these are 32-bit floating point values. 32-bit floating point values are represented by four bytes, with each byte having eight bits. In general, the larger the model, the more parameters, and the more floating point values that are needed, which means you need more compute and memory to run the model. Okay, so quickly, let's do some back of the napkin math on how much memory you'll need if you download a model with 1 billion parameters, and its parameters are represented by 32-bit floating point values. Okay, to estimate, we know each 32-bit floating point value uses four bytes. So with this, for a 1 billion parameter model, we'll need four billion bytes. Let's assume one gigabyte has 1,073,741,824 bytes. So the RAM memory required in gigabytes is 1 billion parameters times four bytes divided by the number of bytes in a gigabyte, which gives us approximately 3.73 gigabytes. Okay, so in summary, a 1 billion parameter LLM using 32-bit floating point values requires approximately 3.73 gigabytes of memory for storing the parameters. So now, with this quick introduction to neural networks, parameters, and how they're typically represented as 32-bit floating point values, let's now define quantization. LLM quantization is the process of reducing the precision of the numerical values, typically floating point values, representing the weights and possibly other parameters in the model to lower bit representations. For example, a 32-bit floating point value can be saved as a 16-bit floating point value, or even an 8-bit integer, or a 4-bit value, or even a 2-bit value. The big benefit of doing this is that this can dramatically reduce your memory requirements and computational costs of running the model. For AI system builders, there's another benefit. Because of this smaller memory and compute footprint required, system builders can download and run quantized models on edge devices or modern consumer grade laptops. This is the big win as you don't need to run these models on larger clusters of VMs with GPUs or use LLMs running in the cloud. So what are the trade-offs with quantization? Well, while quantization significantly improves efficiency, it can lead to some loss of model accuracy, though there are some advanced quantization techniques that can help mitigate the degradation. Here's a quick summary generally describing trade-offs between memory usage and model performance versus precision type. Full precision gives you the best accuracy 
but higher memory and compute costs. Using floating point 16 at half the precision, you get a balance between speed and accuracy. At N8, with one quarter of the precision, you start to get more loss of accuracy, but you get a bigger speed gain. At N4, you start to notice more accuracy loss, but on the positive side, you get even more speed improvements. And finally, at N2, you get lots more accuracy loss, but with the fastest performance. So would N2 ever be useful? Well, it turns out in specific use cases where memory constraints and efficiency are more critical than precision, N2 can be your best option. Examples you might see is with ultra low power IoT devices or wearables such as smart watches or glasses. The key point here is your use case requirements will determine which of these quantization options is the best for your system. As you build your system, you will likely need to experiment to find the right balance. Today in 2025, many LLMs that you can download to be run locally are already quantized down to floating point 16. But you can also find LLMs that are quantized down to int 8, int 4, and even int 2. Quite often, you can quickly determine that an LLM is quantized down to int 8, int 4, int 2, as most tend to have specific naming conventions or suffix indicating so. Although this is not a comprehensive list of hints, here's some examples of text you might see in model names indicating the model is quantized. Again, if you see text such as int 8, int 4, int 2 in the model name, this is a hint indicating quantization. You might also see Q8, Q4, or Q2, again, also hinting at the model being quantized. Another pattern in LM naming comes from the popular quantization methods used in the creation of the model. Although not a comprehensive list of quantization methods, if you see GPTQ, AWQ, or BNB, this is also an indicator that this is a quantized model. Quick note, GPTQ stands for Generalized Post-Training Quantization. AWQ stands for Activation Aware Weight Quantization. And BNB stands for Bits and Bytes. Just know GPTQ and AWQ are some of the more popular quantization techniques. And BNB is a hugging face library used for mixed precision quantization that allows efficient inference and fine tuning of LLMs using floating point 16, 8 bit, and 4 bit precision. Quick note obviously, as a system builder, it's good to know that model naming parameters can help you identify a quantized model. But when you find an interesting model, you definitely want to read the model notes to get a detailed description and understanding of the quantization methods used in the creation of the model. Okay, so now you should have a good conceptual understanding of LLM quantization. You should understand the compute and memory cost benefits and potential loss of accuracy trade-off when using a quantized LLM. If you're trying to run an open source LLM on your local system, quantized LLMs might be a good option as they require less memory and compute to run. So let me know what you think of LLM quantization. Do you think you might be willing to experiment with a quantized LLM? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think about this. Okay, thanks for watching. This video, along with all the other videos in this playlist are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. One last thing, we all love technology and we're all excited about all the innovation with the cloud and machine learning and AI. But don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go climbing, go surfing. Get out and move your body. And if you do, let me know in the comments. I wanna hear about this as well. And with that, have a great day.